so in my case i uh, did not have any interview rounds uh, some people had direct internship offers and i also had a direct internship offer but but uh, we had only a single mcq round for uh, selection and the mcqs were mainly based on uh, dsa questions dsa and i think there was some basics of ai so as far as the engage program is concerned i don't think the resume screening is as such that uh, you need to have a very stellar profile to get in it wasn't like that so you can just mention your uh, basic projects that you have done or hi everyone this is ashwin i'm back again with yet another video in this video i have brought that person who has got uh, an internship at microsoft i would say direct internship at microsoft without any interviews just the mentorship program uh, so i'll be discussing about the complete program with her like i have got a lot of queries ki kya iske liye reference chahiye kya is program ke liye kya padhna hai what should be the ideal resources kitne interview rounds hote hain ya nahi hote hain and uh, like what is there in this particular program like if i am from second year to would i be able to survive in this program and how i can get get a direct offer of internship from microsoft like no interviews just the program how you perform in this program and you will be getting the direct offer letter to internship after your third year at microsoft so these all doubts have been cleared by shri bhattacharya she is from iast shipur and uh, we have like uh, cleared all these these doubts in this particular video so stay tuned with me till the end of this video if you have applied for engage mentorship program or if you are going to apply for this uh, mentorship program so uh, this video is going to be very beneficial for you from the point of view of your preparation so do stay tuned with me and uh, you can like this video share this channel subscribe this channel and let me know in the comment section if you have any more doubts and what type of content you are looking forward to so let's see what uh, shri has to say about engage mentorship program thank you so much shri for accepting the invitation and coming here for discussing your experience of the microsoft engage mentorship program like there has been a lot of hype around this program what this program is like people are generally very confused on to uh, how to apply what are uh, like how to get a whether to get a referral or not like what will be the certain rounds how to prepare for those rounds like how can we make a resume so we are here with uh, like uh, all the answers to all your queries So before starting with today's video, like I would like Shri uh, to introduce herself. Hi everyone, uh, I am Shri Bhattacharya. I am currently a third year student of computer science and technology in IIST Shipur, and I was a part of the Microsoft Engage Mentorship Program in two thousand twenty, and I also happened to receive a direct men or uh, direct internship offer at the end of the mentorship program. So yes, so that makes me an incoming intern in Microsoft this year. Okay. So uh, when we talk about engage program, so we'd like to know what this particular engage program is like, and what are the important things in this engage program? Right. So uh, the engage program, as it was launched last year, it is a two-month-long mentorship program carried out by Microsoft, and also the Ace Hacker team was involved last year. and um, in this program you will basic uh, students from their current second years are taken for mentorship and they will also be assessed on their problem solving skills and there will be one capstone project at the end of the program based on which uh, some ranking or some uh, like assessment might be carried out and apart from the assessment parts there there was new there was there was one to one mentorship by microsoft engineers every student was assigned a particular mentor and uh, that was the whole experience like microsoft themselves also carried out many webinars on different uh, topics for our benefit okay so that's uh, super amazing to listen like you got a mentor from microsoft itself and uh, you had a complete project so like if i would like to know what was your particular experience of this program like how do you like uh, this program So definitely. So, uh, like in most cases, I was also notified by our college, and then I enrolled for the program. And we had to choose from two projects. Like I chose a project which was a web app of a uh, tic tac toe based on AI, like Minimax algorithm. And I was also assigned, like I said, a mentor from Microsoft who is a software engineer there currently. 
and we would have weekly sessions with him or one on one sessions and also sometimes group sessions with him and there would be numerous interesting discussions and he would also guide us in many ways like uh, if we had any problem with our implementations of the project or in general he would just encourage us to think and uh, like discover in what ways we could solve a uh, solve a problem and apart from that we i also uh, had the like i said i participated in the webinars there were webinars on git there were webinars on azure in machine learning then uh, there was a particular session to train us on how to crack an interview at microsoft i think that was uh, exclusively for the engage mentorship of uh, students and ultimately uh, we had to submit the project and then uh, the ranking list also came out and in the ranking list also i uh, i was a solo uh, i solo contributor i did not form a group while uh, doing the project and among the solo contributors i was in the top 7 Great. and but there were options of uh, forming groups of 2 3 or 4 people i think 4 people was the maximum number of people in a single group that was allowed in our time yeah so that's great to listen that you participated in it as an individual contributor and you were among the top 7 so like anybody who is participating in this for this year like what advice you would give like how can he make the most out of it and like what were the added perks that you got as a part of this particular program right so i think the biggest perk or opportunity that came as part of this program we were specifically told register for the software engineering internship opportunity at microsoft so that was notified we were notified by microsoft itself to uh, apply for this program and apart from that uh, another great learning would be the interactions you would have with your mentor they would actually help you explore a lot of areas about problem solving and find out how you can do better yourself and apart from that uh the webinars the assignments we would also have weekly assignment those are also really thought provoking and uh, they can also really help a person grow as a technical individual also if anybody is applying and if they are participating in the program it would be very helpful to like uh, get your project started very early like plan it early and then uh, talk to your mentor about how it's going and then ask them for any suggestions if they have because you know in the end um, like we had certain requisites for uh, the projects that we had to compulsorily do but then the people who added on to that they were uh, marked even uh, more uh, like they had higher scores so it's always good if you can like complete the mandatory part early and then you can explore yourself and also get creative and add as much as you want to in your project so that would be my advice okay so like uh, you were offered an internship through this particular mentorship program so were there any separate interviews conducted at the end of this program to uh, for that particular internship offer right so in my case i uh, did not have any interview rounds uh, some people had direct internship offers and i also had a direct internship offer but for many people i think for almost everyone who participated in the program interview rounds were held and in some cases multiple interview rounds were also held and uh, a lot i have i like i have people from my college and from different colleges i know people who made through those interview rounds sometimes even multiple interview rounds i think two or three and uh, they were also offered the internship but a downside to this is that if a, a person does not qualify or does not succeed in the interview they had a cool off period of 6 uh, months so uh, while applying and while appearing for the interview anybody should try to just give their best okay so like uh, many people like i also heard i have talked to a lot of people so many people were even offered direct internship opportunity after this program right. based upon your mentors feedback right so yes that played a part mentors feedback was so a major I, thing that i think uh, apart from like uh, it's a good thing that you mentioned there was mentor feedback of course the project was also taken into account like how much do you do in your project and how satisfactory you do come up with it also like i said there were weekly assignments 
uh, okay. assignments as in uh, there would be essay questions there would be uh, essay questions as in you would have to analyze some problem or do some background research on the topic and write an essay on that there would there we had uh, an assignment on writing a pseudo code for some uh, problem and also i think there was um, an mcq on git like we had a session on git and following that there were, an mcq on git was also carried out okay yeah so this was all about the program as in your words so like uh, now let's come on to the selection process like uh, when you right. applied for this particular program so how many number of rounds were there like when you applied like whether you applied on the career portal or somewhere else and uh, whether like what were the number of rounds and uh, like uh, were there any interviews conducted for selecting you for this particular mentorship program so in our year i was notified by my college but uh, we had only a single mcq round for uh, selection and the mcqs were mainly based on uh, dsa questions dsa and i think there was some basics of ai so if that like in our year the program came with the tagline of mars colonization program because it was uh, going to be related to ai so there were a few ai questions from the very basics in the mcq but mostly it was dsa and i would say that the uh, questions weren't difficult like for any second year student who brushes up a little on their dsa say uh, knowledge and just practices a little bit it would not be very difficult to crack the mcq and before that i think there was a cv screening uh, and then there was the mcq that was it okay so like any like if you remember number of mcqs and the time allotted something it was a time bound mcq um i think the number also wasn't much it was not like 50 questions or something it was 20 to 25 or 30 like that more or less it was not too many questions but it was time bound okay and like was there any scene of getting referrals from the employees and applying to get a better chance last year I as per last year last as per last year i don't think there was um, any such chance because you were directly applying for uh, the software engineering internship already there as part of the uh, mentorship program so there were no referrals okay so coming upon to uh, some of the learning resources like for that particular mcq test that they conduct so like what according to you should the student like who is currently who has applied for this and who is going to appear for that uh, similar kind of mcq test so what he should brush up with or like from where he should study right now any okay, advisable so resources? i think the questions asked were very on basics of dsa so most people will already have done that in their college curriculum it wasn't as difficult and then if someone just wants to have any theoretical knowledge they can mostly online reading would do it's not like you need a very deep base of absolute good algorithms and all mostly basic data structures trees graphs just brush up on those that would be enough okay and the one question that is like very pertinent is about the resume like currently people are in their second right. year and they don't have much to mention in the resume like they are very confused they don't have any internships done they uh, like uh, have very basic projects so they are confused on to like uh, what should be there in, in a resume like what uh, what type of resume are they expecting so like if you can tell us about what was there in your resume or how they can curate their resume this year okay so uh like you said in second year it's not possible to have done a lot already so whatever i think some mostly people do end up doing one project or two project maybe basic projects but be sure to mention that of course mention that in your resume and um, as far as the engage program is concerned i don't think the resume screening is as such that uh, you need to have a very stellar profile to get in it wasn't like that so you can just mention your uh, basic projects that you have done or any if you are uh, into competitive programming and if you are uh, if you have some rank or something on any that side do mention that and don't shy away from writing what you have done or what you think you are capable of in your resume please mention all that or or you know anything people have done in their schools some olympiads or some something some achievement everything counts you can just mention those 
and it's not like anybody expects you to be absolutely brilliant and have achieved a lot by second year it's not like that they are curating the program for second years so it's very uh, specific they already know that uh, a certain level will be there yeah so that's that was really insightful on to like the complete information about the program so we're coming towards the end like i would like to have any one piece of advice for uh, those applying this year like last advice for anyone okay i would just say one thing that uh, keep at it if your heart is at it and uh, don't uh, just do it for the sake of doing it and when you go and go and participate in the program uh, besides thinking about internships and uh, whatever else is involved make sure to learn and to enjoy because uh, no matter what that is definitely going to stay with you so thank you so much shri for coming here accepting and clearing the doubts of like many students who have been struggling into what is this program is so thank you so much once again for coming here welcome really i this is pleasure i hope you guys enjoyed a lot and like you got some really good insights ki how you should prepare for this particular program and like apart from that a lot of other opportunities are also coming for the batch of 2023 you might have heard of jp morgan chase uh, code for good hackathon or like there are a lot of other hackathons as well other events also like how you can uh, crack certain companies or placements so i'll be coming up with that content as well but uh, till then uh, you can subscribe this channel like this video share it with your friends and do let me know if you have any queries thank you so much all the best good luck bye bye